to stay in the wish fulfilled when you are manifesting anything, whether it's a specific person, the relationship of your dreams, the house you want, your dream car, your dream body, whatever it is, you can have it. How do we do it? How do we get there? How do we stay there? It's important to understand what the wish fulfilled is. The wish fulfilled is the state where you already have it, the reality where you already have it. So there's infinite realities infinite it's anything you can imagine you being experiencing that already exists okay you've just got to choose the reality you want to experience okay and then we want to be in the wish fulfilled which just means think as if we are in that reality so if you're manifesting a relationship with your specific person what sort of thoughts would that version of you be thinking a lot of people panic and worry like how do i stay there how do i stay in the wish fulfilled with my 3d is the opposite how what do i do in my 3d what do i even do do how how do i live in my 3d and i think people misunderstand what we mean so we are shifting states all the time moment to moment all the time we're shifting in and out of states okay so it's just about when you're thinking about the things that you want the experiences you want to have who you want to be you are thinking from it rather than of it as it you, you don't want to be thinking of it as something that's not here like how am I going to get it when am I going to get it like thinking negatively about it. you want to think as if it's already a fact in your life so you'd think as the girlfriend as the boyfriend as the husband as the wife whatever thoughts they may be which are just affirmations thoughts affirmations affirmations thoughts same thing you could literally just say something as simple as I love being in this relationship with SP I love how loved I am there you go you're in the wish fulfilled that's the wish fulfilled but the problem is people are like, oh, but how do I stay there? But it, the goal isn't to stay there like all the time because we live in our 3D world. We have to do things in our life. It's about returning back to that, going there. So when you're thinking of it, you're not thinking of the lack of it. You're thinking as if it's already a fact in your life, just like everything else that you've got in your life right now, your job, your family, you know, your skincare routine, all these different things. You might not be doing them right now, but they're all part of your life, right? They're all part of who you are. What I mean by that is, it just because you're not in the state right this second, right this second, as long as you're not thinking negatively or dwelling on old story or thinking crappy thoughts about the things that you want, it doesn't mean you're not going to get it. It doesn't mean you have to be in that state 24-7 to get it. It's just about when you are thinking about those things, you think from it. You think as if it's already a fact. So you could go about your day, doing your work, meeting with friends, whatever it is that you're doing, just living your life normally, which is absolute, just live, do do whatever you do in your 3D. But when the thought comes up of that thing that you want, you don't think negatively about it or crappy about it. You think as if it's already a fact in your life. And people purposely think about it. You can lay down for 15 minutes, do a visualization session. You can, you know, have a little routine where you affirm for it throughout the day. If you've got a really bad story about something, that's a really good way to sort of override that story. But it's just about, it's more, more the case of not dwelling in it, dwelling in the old story of it. So if you want a relationship, you're not going to sit there talking to your friends going, oh, bloody SP doesn't want me and they're moving and they've ignored me for three weeks. You're just living your life, not dwelling on those stories. And then when you think about it, you go to that state of the wish fulfilled. When you do that, it's completely up to you. I, When I'm thinking of things that I want, and I'm thinking as if I've got them, I return to that wish fulfilled. Like today, I was cleaning, and as I was cleaning, I was sitting there thinking about the thing I want as if it's already a fact in my life, telling myself, God, I'm so glad I've got this now. It feels so good to have this. I love that I've got this. It was so easy. It was so easy to get. I love that this is my life now. I wasn't thinking of the lack of it, but earlier on in the day, I was busy doing other things, living my life, I had an appointment to go to, um, you know, I had other things I was doing. Just because I wasn't thinking about my desires doesn't mean I'm not going to get it because I wasn't in the state of the wish fulfilled. Just living my life, just like you normally would if you already ha had it, you know, just like all the things you have in your life right now when you go to work, you do your skincare, when you have a shower, you pick up the kids, you might not be doing those things right now, but it doesn't mean they're not part of your life. I'm not sure if this makes any sense, but... I know this is something that a lot, of, a lot of people struggle with. They feel like they need to be in the state of the wish fulfilled all the time. But are you in the state of doing your skincare all the time? Are you in the state of work all the time? Are you in the state of um, being the girlfriend and going on dates all the time? No, you're doing different things in your life. You're doing different things all the time. It's just about living your life. When you think of it, think from it as if you already have it. Tell yourself, I have this, this is mine. I love having this, I'm so grateful for this. I love being the girlfriend, I love this relationship. It's fucking beautiful, we have such a strong connection. You're thinking from it, you're telling your subconscious, I have it, because you're thinking thoughts as if you have it and your 3D world will eventually reflect that back. You can return to that as many times as you like. It's just like a room. Imagine a state like a room. 
So you might be in one room when you're doing your skincare, one room when you're being a mum, one room when you're thinking about being in a relationship with your SP. It's just about what state you're in. It's like just walking from one room to another room, okay? I hope this helps someone because I feel like I've just gone a little bit, a little bit, And the wish fulfilled does not mean you need to be there all the goddamn time. Just a part of your life, just like all these other things that are a part of your life. Being a parent, going to work, doing your skincare. I don't know why I keep saying skincare. It's because all my skincare is surrounding the phone, so it's like in my face. Um, it's just part of your. It's just part of your normal life. So when you think about it, think from it, and then just go about your day. Do whatever you're doing. If you want a routine, do a routine. If you've got a really bad, crappy, opposing story, then you can affirm more often. Be in the wish fulfilled state more often. But yeah, that's just it.